Hi, in this video I'm going to be giving a brief overview of the SwiftPos back office software package. I'm going to demonstrate how to launch the software and log in, some of the software's key features and how to navigate the user interface. So by default you should have a SwiftPos back office icon on the desktop somewhere um, and in the taskbar. You can launch the software using either of those two. The software can take a few moments to start up. It depends on the, the size of the database that you're connecting to. Uh, mine's not that big, so it's uh, pretty quick. By default, the clerk ID 0 and pin number 0 will allow you to log in. Um, that can be changed at a later time, uh, depending on uh, whether you have different clerks that use the software, um, or if you just want to use a specific pin number and clerk ID um, to control who can log in and make changes to the software. So I'm just going to use 0 and 0 for now. Over on the left hand side you can see the main menu um, with all of the different menu items that you might interact with. This is arranged in a sort of collapsed um, stacked menu and, and sub-menu arrangement. I don't really know what you would call that but you can see that as I click on each different menu heading um, all of the sub-menu items for that particular heading are displayed. Um, if I go to products and product records That'll open up the product records page in the main part of the screen. Um, and if I open up some more things, say touch pos terminals, you can see that that opens up in a separate tab up the top here. And you can quickly navigate between the two tabs. And you can have as many tabs open as you like up the top here. Uh, if you want to close a, s a single tab, you can do so. There's generally a, a close button in the bottom right hand corner, um, or you can click the little X up the top menu bar, or a tab bar, sorry, to close that particular tab. If you want to close all of the tabs that you have open, if you've got too many open, um, you can click on close all screens, and it's going to warn you to save any unsaved changes um, before it closes the tabs, so you're not going to lose anything that you're working on. Um, click yes and that closes all of the tabs. If you need to know what uh, version of the software you're running you can see that down the bottom here. I can, uh, you can see that I'm running version 5 which is a little bit old but um, that's what I've got installed um, and you'll also see the clerk's uh, name down the bottom here. Um, to open up the help menu you can either press F1 on your keyboard or you can click on the help button at the very top of the screen here. Uh, oh, okay, thanks Windows. Um, okay, so this is the, the help menu um, or, or the help file uh, which you might need to look through to, to find what you're, what you're after. Come on Windows. Multi-monitors. Okay, so that's the help um, file. Um, you can navigate through the different parts of the uh, the file to find what you're looking for. Alternatively, if you open up um, a particular menu item, let's say product records, and then you click on help, it'll open up um, context-based help um, depending on what you happen to be looking at. So you can see it's opened up the um, product records part of the help file here. Close that tab. And to exit the software, you can either click on the red X like most Windows applications or click on Exit Software up here. So that's about it for this video. Um, just a brief overview of the uh, user interface um, and some of the menu items. Um, in subsequent videos, I'm going to be covering more practical tasks in SwiftPos Back Office, such as uh, creating products and um, modifying product records updating terminals and ver various other tasks. So feel free to check out other videos in this channel for more information. Um, and if there's something in particular that you want to see a video guide on, uh, go ahead and comment or send me a message. Um, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.